Mark Lobo Leonard, TigerFitness.com, extra special, special guest. I got a professional athlete. Well, he was a professional athlete, but once a pro athlete, always a pro athlete. Baseball, for that matter. D1, played at Vandy. Did you win something there? You won the SEC Championship 2000. <gasps> oh, I couldn't even win a state title in high school. We didn't even win regionals. Anyway, but we did win league. So anyway, Alex Feinberg, bro, what's up? How are we doing? Doing great. Where can they find you, first of all? Alex Feinberg1 on Twitter. Alex Feinberg official on Instagram. Alex Feinberg1 on YouTube. What about your grinder and OnlyFans? Haven't uh, I, I released a joke <laughs> OnlyFans a couple years ago? This is my food porn. The no, yeah. Somebody, somebody says I was I was posting my my food porn meals on Twitter. Somebody's like, "Hey, that dude, those meals That's need an OnlyFans." No grinder though, unfortunately. I would probably monetize a little bit better than than the the OnlyFans food porn. Yeah, OnlyFans food porn would be great. So, um, we won't we'll talk about the dopamine issues with porn. That's a whole nother Twitter Twitter issue. So. I really, so I coach athletes, Legacy of Carbon, and I'm actually, I'm, I'm very excited that Alex is coming to Legacy to speak to these youth baseball players. All these kids want to play pro. There's, I wanted to play pro. That was my first sport. I just wasn't good. He was good. I was terrible. I was the ninth man on a team of nine people. So when I left the team, they didn't care. Like, <laughs> low binder's gone. We'll just put somebody else at third. So we always try to figure out what makes athletes great. There's obviously a genetic component. There's obviously physical component, right? Like being taller, but then you have your anomalies like Spud Webb and Muggsy mm -hmm. Bogues and whatever, right? So you have those intan those I think tangibles, right? Where you have the height, whatever, the genetic gifts. Maybe your dad is thicker bone, maybe have bigger joints. Mm -hmm. Like my joints are tiny. That's why my, my knee broke off in football, right? So obviously that's not good, but it worked for bodybuilding. So I just shifted over to fake sport. So the one thing that we always try to tap into to our, to our kids, to our athletes, who I love like my own children, is mindset and how you compete with the best who might be more talented than you. Because I'm sure you weren't the most genetically talented individual. But you played at a high level on a championship program under the greatest coach in college baseball history, Tim Corbin. Mm -hmm. And now you're, you're obviously crushing it, but you're crushing it in life. You mm -hmm. crush life. Mm -hmm. So what brought you to the promised land in baseball is the same reason you're successful here yep. in real life. Same reason that you landed a big corporate job at Google out of college. Same reason you're doing your own thing now and absolutely killing it, mm -hmm. living your best life, right? So when you're looking at athletes and you're explaining to them what they need to unlock to get to your level, mm -hmm. these kids we're talking to tonight who are, they want nothing more than to play for Vandy. I guarantee mm -hmm. you it's like, where do you want to play? This is, dude, we're in Brentwood. Mm -hmm. All these kids want to play for Vandy. Yeah. Every single one wants to play for Corbin. I want to play for Corbin. We could keep this really simple. We keep this really complex. What separates the mindset of a D1 or a pro athlete from someone who's not? Not just the mindset, not the other stuff, just the mindset. And I'll answer this baseball specifically because one thing that I noticed as a competitive baseball player is that hand-eye sports specifically um, will require you to be mentally strong, right? The, and, and really the smaller the ball the more the mental strength. So the fatter, so I the, tell my wife every day, the fatter the person is at an elite level. Like you don't have fat golfers and fat baseball players because being fat makes you good at these sports. You have them because they're actually mind games, right? The reason why, like you're not going to have a fat sprinter in the Olympics because it's much more physical than it is mental, but you can absolutely have a fat first baseman because hitting a baseball is more mental than physical. Cecil Fielder. Yeah. Or you could have a fat golfer because making a, a six foot putt is more mental than physical. And John so, Daly. Yes, exactly. And so what John separates Crook. exactly Fernando Valenzuela? What separates these athletes from the people who might have better physiques and be and be more physically gifted is their ability to take whatever situation they're in, no matter what chaos is being thrown at them, and put themselves in a mindset of what do I need to do to accomplish the next thing? And so in business and in baseball and in life, we are constantly getting knocked down all the time. You have good days, you have bad days. 
usually you're going to have more slightly bad things happen than really good things. So running a business and in life, usually it's like, and then it goes, like, yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. like, like you're going to have a lot of, yeah. a lot of down days. 50% of your days are going to be below average by definition, by definition, 50% of your, your college baseball games are going to be below average games. 50% of your days in business are going to be below average. What most people do when they have a below average outcome or two to three below average outcomes in a row is they start to expect to have a below average outcome because their brain is recognizing the pattern that has happened for the previous two or three at bats, previous two or three days. And, and here's what happens then. When your brain starts to expect negativity, you actually start to replicate the actions that lead to negativity. You start thinking, what's the point in putting the work in? What's, yeah. what's the point in doing this? Why am I doing this? Your brain goes into energy conservation mode. Like, why am I putting the effort in if it's just going to result in something negative anyway? Well, guess what? The people who are ultimately successful in baseball, in life, in business are the ones who can convince themselves to be irrationally positive. They need to be able to convince themselves that it's worth it to get up in the morning and put the extra work in because the only way you're going to be able to put the work in that's necessary to succeed in life is if you've convinced yourself that the juice is worth the squeeze. So successful people are always able to convince themselves that the juice is worth the squeeze, even if it logically doesn't make sense to somebody on the outside. That's why you look at small guys like a Lenny Dykstra, right? Like, uh, like any undersized player has to be able to convince himself that the juice is worth the squeeze. And that's yes. why you have people succeed in business with business plans that a Harvard Business School graduate would say, well, that's not ever gonna work. It's because they say you can't measure heart, but what, what they really mean by saying you can't measure heart is you can't measure somebody's ability to convince himself that working hard today makes sense. That belief in yourself that you can make it, you know? Um, all the entrepreneurs I know, even the not so smart ones, the most successful ones, are the ones who just refuse to give up. They refuse to lose. Yeah. And that's the same thing with baseball. And that's the mindset that I've taken. For example, I got my ass kicked at the New York Pro and I deserved it. So I could give up. I could, I, I could quit. But dude, I'm doubling down. And that's what it takes. So man, I appreciate you being on here, brother. And uh, if you haven't noticed, it's raining. So this is a good time to end it. Your message is, oh my God, this is what we want. I'm sorry. I don't care if the camera breaks. Look, I got to really get into this. Like I see so many people online saying, I can't do this. I can't do that. I have this excuse. I can't lose weight because of this. I have this. I have that. I have the other. I have this. Dude, this is a guy who went pro in baseball. It's a guy who did it. Now he's successful in life. It's not because he's, well, he's handsome as fuck, but it's not because he's better than anybody. It's because he believes in himself. Believe in yourself, guys. All right. They can find you at. Alex Feinberg one on Twitter, Alex Feinberg official on Instagram, Alex Feinberg one on YouTube. And we're going to find shelter. That's not a game. I used to have to go through dozens of bottles of vitamins, of supplements just to get what I need. Look, I'm busy. I'm running multiple businesses. I'm coaching. I'm a professional bodybuilder getting ready for my first pro show. I don't have time to sit there and do all that. I got to go. I'm on the go all the time. That is why I created MTS Nutrition Immortal. Here's how they look. This, all it takes this replaces dozens of bottles of supplements. So let me tell you exactly what this has. It has probiotics, greens, liver detox, joint support, cardiovascular support, and the most complete multivitamin, multi-mineral supplement ever created. If you have a busy life or you simply want more time to do the things you love and be able to travel by just taking one simple little pack with you, Immortals for you.